Hello everyone, welcome to Chaudhary Data World channel. Today I am here with three new DAX functions that are Len, Mid and then Trim. We, uh, these three of the DAX functions are very uh, easy and uh, a very short uh, DAX function. So we will be watching the functionality of all these three into this video. So let's get started with the video. For demonstration purpose, I am taking this particular data set in this data view section. In this table tools, we are having new column. We will be using uh, this particular one to create a new column. And then we will be having a new column with all these three functions. So let's uh, start. So clicking on new column now. We will rename this column as column underscore len so that we, uh, we it should be distinct with having uh, we should understand by watching this particular column that this is here length function is applied so len is nothing but it's a length function so that means whatever text you will provide into this length function it will output you the result as uh, integer which will tell you that how many uh, uh, how many characters are there into that particular string uh, it doesn't depend on what language it is but whatever character it is into that particular string it will output you that one so let us uh, pass text here text will be suppose column upper right now I am choosing We can see that we are having 14 uh, letters into it that means 14 characters you can uh, count it as well and it, you will get 14 characters so this is for whole data set it will calculate and it will give in front of that particular respective rows another function that is trim function we will be watching into it so we are having suppose uh, clicking again on new column We will rename this as trim. We will take this function trim. This function trim is nothing but here it will also expected a text only. So trim is nothing but wherever suppose you are having some spaces. Let me open a notepad and show you. Suppose this is uh, here a string you are passing into this text function that is suppose uh, text correct and i am wrapping this into double quotes so if you will pass this particular text as into trim function so this will output as it will output you as text only with having absolute absolute uh, uh, characters into it and let me show you another scenario that suppose you are having some text in which you are having two spaces into it okay and if you will apply trim function over it you will get again this text that means absolute characters it may be another scenario that in front it may have uh, any text may have spaces that means white spaces so if you will pass this one in trim again it will output you as text again fine so these are three scenarios common scenarios we face into day-to-day -day projects so which we we can handle it into the trip function right now there is no example we are having into this data uh, 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 set in which we are having any spaces so I will take one arbitrary example suppose example I am writing as text and then two spaces i am providing it here wrapping it up with the braces clicking on enter you will see that all those white spaces will be avoided here and it will give you a solid value absolute value correct you can't see any spaces 
or if suppose better if we will provide some spaces in front as well so that you will get to know let me click on enter you can see that there is no front white spaces fine so this is what trim function do now another function we are having that is mid so we will take again a new column for that we will rename this column as column underscore mid mid function we will take it will take tell you uh, it will be expecting three parameters which will be provided into this mid function that is text and then start position number of characters so text you can uh, choose any anyone suppose this example we are choosing that means column trim is the text we are choosing it here okay uh, column trim right now in this column tree start position it is asking that from where particularly that characters to be pulled out okay so suppose i am passing one into it and then number of characters we need to pull out from this example uh, column trim okay so if suppose i am passing three let's see the output then i will explain you that what we got yeah so you can see that right from position one till position three it has pulled out and given you into a new column if you will change it to two that means it will start from x and it will end at a that means right from 2 it will take a start counting and in between whatever text it will be there it will be pulling out and putting it into a new column so suppose 2 3 i am doing clicking on enter you can see that x a will come here uh, uh, so uh, starting from second position and three characters ahead of that so three characters ahead is there x a and then m right so starting from 2 a number of characters need to be considered is 3 so it is considering 3 so x a m it is pulling out. so likewise you can continue and you can go ahead and apply it to your projects so any confusion let me know into the comment section thank you so much for watching the videos stay tuned to the channel for upcoming dax functions see you in the next video